We're chilling. We're chilling with Rick. He's gonna get to the story quick. Yeah, we're chilling. Yes, we're chilling with Rick. Chilling with Rick, everybody. All right, let's get to the sponsors. Upscale Exotics, reptile-only specialty store that carries exotic reptiles looking for homes. They have snakes, lizards, geckos, turtles, chameleons, tarantulas, and more. It's the store of the creepy critters. <laughs> With all the supplies, enclosures, and food, it's your one-stop shop, and they have knowledgeable staff located at 145 West Seneca Street in Sherrill, 315-367-5002. Games People Play, formerly Mind Games. It's a game store with so much more. They've been in business for 28 years. They have Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic the Gathering. Dungeons and Dragons and also sports cards. They also have retro video games and board games. Weekly events held in store and a knowledgeable staff located at 114 Madison Street in Oneida. 315-363-2448. Whitestown Automotive. Quality repairs at a good price. Just up the Thruway Bridge in Westmoreland. Boogie Dad's Music. Working on producing and distributing music on all platforms. And great royalty kickbacks for all performers. Oneida Carpets. Oneida Carpets, family owned and operated by Scott and Lynn White. They're both installers. They install carpet, laminate, vinyl, luxury vinyl, plank flooring, and ceramic tile. All of your flooring needs in one store. They're located at 174 Madison Street in Oneida, 315-361-9800. Big Girl Stump Removal. Do you have a stump that needs to be removed? I'm talking about a tree stump. <laughs> uh, then call up Big Earl. He's a great guy with very fair prices and he'll grind the stump right down to the roots. Give him a call at 315-363-5217. Papa Top. That place out there is just like Florida. It's a tropical paradise out there on that big old deck. Uh, they have obviously the outdoor deck, Adirondack chairs, picnic tables, bar stools, Grab some friends and go listen to some live music at Papa Top. Frog's Bar. Outdoor bar, picnic tables, Adirondack chairs, two fire pits for when fall comes. Uh, the owner, Mary, is phenomenal. She's a friend of mine. She wears the chill and zip up proudly. <laughs> and there's live music there all summer. Oneida Kellett Civic Center. Upcoming events include NU Wrestling on May 27th. I'll be at that. Absolute Adele, an Adele tribute show, coming October 22nd at 3 p.m. Get your tickets for that, oneidacallet.com. Also coming on Saturday, February 24th, 2024, is Appetite for Voltage, a Guns N' Roses ACDC tribute band. Get your tickets at oneidacallet.com. All right, on to my next guest. What's up everybody? Welcome to Chillin' with Rick. Today I have with me a very talented musician, I'm assuming. <laughs> I won't go that far. But... Brian Owens. How hey. are you, brother? Good, you? Good. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Thanks for chilling, man. Yeah. <laughs> now it seems to me over Messenger that you maybe you don't like to talk much or maybe you just hate texting. It doesn't matter. That's, I mean, We're going to get you, you talking know, today. Yeah. I do talk a little bit better than texting. So. That's right. I appreciate talking. <laughs> So I like to start from the beginning in every episode. Where were you born and raised? Uh, born, raised, Marcy, yep. pretty much. Um, and yeah, pretty much. My father like lived in Westland, so I lived there for a year or whatever. Yep. But uh, pretty much just grew up in Marcy, Whitesboro area. Oh, Went to okay. school Whitesboro, so cool. Yeah. Uh, my grandparents lived in Westmore Lane once upon a time. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was a. Fun place. Yeah. yeah <laughs> a lot nice. of cornfields. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my dad, my dad likes it because he says it's not, it's not far yeah. from any direction really. So, yeah. you know. Uh, two thirty threes out there, I believe. Station yep. two thirty three. Yeah, yeah, we play there. My buddy Scott Cannon's out there. Yep. He lives in Muskwell. 
They call it Westmall. Apparently, yeah, Westmall. Cool yeah, right. <laughs> right. It takes too long to say Westmall. So I just say Westmall. Yo, what up, Westmall? Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, I'm in O. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you come from a musical family? Oh uh, yeah, my father plays. So he plays bass. He's uh, he's in Jason Wick's band currently. Oh, very good. I know and Jason. Then, yep, he's he coming played, later this year. Is he? Yep. Yeah, he played like Steve Webb back in the day. Cracker Jacks do, I think, it was the guy that uh, the Joel Steakhouse, like back when the, the drummer in the band used to own Joel Steakhouse. Okay. Or, I think. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but before before I came along, you know, he was well into yeah. playing the music and stuff. And, awesome. Yeah. You know. How long did he have the band going? Uh, the, the oldest. Um, Your dad's band. Uh probably a lot of years right yeah i mean it's yeah. he's i mean he played he, he's a he's a big prog guy like, okay yeah yes and yep. yeah like that's his big band is yes so he played a lot of bands over the years just like that type of you know yeah so yeah. i mean I, I can't remember how many bands or how long each band you know what i mean was yep. but he was probably in it for always, decades <laughs> yeah yeah so gotcha uh, uh so what did you listen to growing up what kind of music uh, so I was, like, my mom, so I, anything from, like, America to CCR to Hart. Can't go wrong with then CCR. Alabama. Oh, well, there you like, go. Like, you know, so, like, like kind of grew up late 80s, 90s country. Yep. Um, but then I was into, like, I was younger, but I was into Creed a lot. And then, there you go. then she turned me on to Metallica with the Black Album. And then once I heard that, then went down that rabbit hole. And so I was uh, started out on drums when I was real little, like okay. from the time that I was three or four. I was always carry the beat drums. on the drums when you were little. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I did. You know, pretty good. I mean, uh, so when I my stepmom told or would always tell stories or tell me that when. Uh, we, I, I'd go out and see my dad play when mm -hmm. I was a little kid, and then they had like little my little gig bag, like <laughs> You're the, gig the bag. Fisher Price like saxophone, the blue bubbles and stuff. They would always took the sticks, I and think I would Justin stand. Smithson had that. Yeah. <laughs> I'd always I'd take the sticks. I'd stand out in the middle, and then like mirror the drummer hit for hit okay. with the sticks, or whatever. So I mean, I just you know, and then from day one when I decided to start playing, I just had a knack for you know. Yeah. Playing, you know, keeping the beat at least, but, um, but yeah, but then after, I was like 14, 15 ish, maybe, is when I got turned on a guitar, and then because my father knew I liked Metallica, so yeah. he showed me a couple of things, you know, Palm Beauty and Power Chords, and then once I once I got that, I was. I'll even take the, look, I can't, I can't, I don't do instruments, that's why I do this. Yeah. I would be too impatient to do guitar. Like, how hard was it for you to learn? Was it difficult, or? I mean, I only got a GED, man, it'd be difficult for me. I don't, I don't know, I, like, I've had, like, friends before who tried to get me to, like, teach them and, you know, learn stuff, but, like, yeah. most, most of them, kind of the same thing, don't, like, have the patience, like, they just want to get it, and. You know, they want to be a superstar, like, right? But I got you. I don't know. I just I never. I mean, I you never stop learning. I mean, even now, you know, I mean, I, there's always more stuff to learn. But yeah. I guess probably at least a year, maybe yeah. before you know, just constant I mean, practice. I, too, right? You know, right? I mean, I yeah. never. As the other, I never like sat there and like practice and like try to learn. You know, like even yeah. even grow like. Help us song stuff like I never sat there and like wanted to learn a song. Yeah. I like, you know, back before YouTube and stuff, you just had the tabs and you had to go by what some guy transcribed, you know, with the numbers and stuff. I just, if I heard a riff or, you know, heard something that was cool, I just wanted to take that and then like make it my own type of thing, you know. But um, it was, I mean, I tell people growing up that I never practiced it. I just, every single day, I just, I just wanted to play it. Yeah. So I just would just keep playing it. Practice makes perfect. Right, just trying to come up with, you know, neat sounds or different stuff or what have you, you know. Yeah. So. Soon you'll be a national re recording artist. Oh, <laughs> he goes, ah. long, long, whist <laughs> long missed my window for that. <laughs> You're only 25, right? 33. Oh, close. Yeah. close. <laughs> <laughs> I flirt with guys, too. Yeah. You got to, you know, make you guys feel good. Jesus. <laughs> Not really flirt with you. 
<laughs> You're just trying to yeah. make you laugh. Yeah. That's all. Edit that out, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, do you have any musical influences growing up? Like, did you hear somebody? Like, I don't know if you know who Daryl White is, but he listened to, um, not Jesus, who was it? Oh, uh, Poison, I think. He heard Girls, Girls, Girls. He's like, I don't know what that is, but I want to do that for a living. And boom, he's in Three Inch Fury. Now he's coming back to his own band called Ryder. Um, Did anything have that kind of impact on you, or you just like listening to something? Or? I don't know if I mean. I guess, for, as far as guitar goes, Metallica was like, you know, was the was the thing. You know, not even. You know, I mean, I was probably. I might have been in fifth grade when my mom gave me the black album. Yeah. So it wasn't like from when I was first still talking like fifth grade to age 14, 15 was still a long window, you know. Yeah. But you know, I so I I would go to my dad's on the weekends and he had a music room with the drum set and that's when I would play the drums was on the weekend. Yep. And then, you know, go back to my mom's and then all week of you know, waiting to go play the drums again. Yeah. So I like, you know, I guess Metallica got me into, you know, that's like if I wanted to play anything, that was, you know, what I would want to play or the sound music I would want to play, but it was more so, I guess, I wanted something to do while I was at my mom's for the week, Yeah. and she wouldn't let me have drums in the house, oh. <laughs> so at least with a guitar, I could, you know, plug headphones out of a little box or whatever, you know what I mean, and I could yep. be quiet enough with that, so it was just kind of like, you know, I just asked my father one day, you know, how the hell do you play this thing? It was, yeah. Like I said, he showed me the two things, and then I was like, really, that's it? And then, you know, I kind of really? picked up on, the, you know, I mean, with enough distortion, you can, <laughs> you, can make, you can make anything sound good. So, you know, that's what I did when I first started out, you know, it was just, yep. but, uh, yeah, it was just, I don't know, I guess Metallica, but like just the 80s, like the 80s heavy metal stuff, I guess, you know. Oh, heavy be, metal, you know, there you go. Yeah, like. <laughs> it was then, it was Metallica all through high school, and then it was pretty much Pantera all through college. Yeah. You know, when I, because I didn't like the Screamo stuff, like I thought, I thought Pantera was too over the top when I was listening to Metallica, and I was like, no, that's, you know, and then I got into Pantera, I was like, yeah, that's ain't too bad, and then I went to Lamb of God, and then went just, you know, heavier and heavier stuff, like, <laughs> you know. Once, Before you know it, you're listening to Wasp, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Metallica was it for you. Yeah. Um, that was like the grace of God for you. And I appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, uh, I hear Kiss a lot. Did Kiss have any effect on you? Not, I mean, not really. Obviously, that was my father's time that frame, was, you know. Yeah, yeah you I were mean, he, so, And he, as far as guitar, like, wise, like, so he was a big prog guy, but he, Van Halen, when Van Halen came out, he was, yeah. you know, obviously into, yeah. I mean, him, which I don't know anybody who wasn't into yeah. Van Halen's playing, because... Pretty good, but uh, <laughs> he had like that was, that was a guitar that he had was the black and yellow bumblebee of Van Halen's, you yeah. know, like Charvel. Not, not, not the real thing, but circle obviously, yellow not the, and black is that what you're talking about? Or no, it, it was okay. it had it had it was like the Frank had like his Frankenstein, it had all the okay, lines yep, and yep, stuff, yep, it was okay, just black yep, and yep, yellow, yep, okay. So, yep. I think it was black and white on the first album, yeah, and then he changed it. It was know, red, white, then he and made white. it, then he made it to Frankenstein, yeah. and then, but then he got another one that was the black and yellow, so yeah. All right. But yeah, so uh, but no, I kiss. I just maybe it's just because every time I heard him on the radio, it was the same rock and roll all night. So it's just like you know, I was never, I got you, you. know, and they, they never, I don't know, never yeah. got into him that much. But, gotcha. You know, who are you into right now? Who are you currently listening to? Is it still the '80s stuff, or are you into anything new, or no? Uh, not. Not told not a whole lot. Like, I mean, as far as country, I guess that like I like uh, Cody Johnson stuff a little bit. I like uh, Zach Bryan, who's kind of. I thought you were gonna say Zach Brown. No, <laughs> I was when Zach Brown came out. I you know when he first came out, I liked him. Yeah. Um, you know. Colder weather. That's my favorite song. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah oh, that's, that's a good great. right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Randy Hauser, I mean, we just went and saw it was Cody Johnson and Randy Hauser play go. together. So, you know, when Randy Randy Hauser still sounds like he does when he first came out, yeah. the, the dude's 47 years old. So wow. it's amazing that his voice is still there. I'm 46. Famous. Watch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You listen to you listen to Luke Bryan or Jason Aldean from when yeah, he first yeah. came out to what they That's are true. now, their voice is tired, you know what I mean? But 
Bon Jovi and can't he, sing no to right, save his ass. Right. <laughs> it's a good thing he made all the millions when yeah, he was young. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I say I mostly listen to the same. Yeah. You know, I think honestly, I mean. Tim McGraw is my favorite. He always he? has been. Yeah. Going to see him soon next month. Yeah. Over at Turning Stone. Turning Stone, nice, yeah. nice. Then we're going to see Ghost on really? August eighteenth. You a Ghost fan? That's all that's in my house right now. It's twenty four seven. Really? My girl loves Ghost. I can. <laughs> there, are some of the songs I can do. I can listen to some of their songs. Yeah. Like I, obviously, I mean, I can appreciate them, but yeah. Um, They're probably too soft for you. It's not even. It's no. I mean, the, the music isn't. I can deal with the music. It's just I think the the guy's voice, which. I know, which is probably like one of the main things why they, you know, they're different, whatever. But it's just, yeah. you know, I don't know, like some of the, like the, I mean, like the punk rock stuff, or whatever. Like some of those bands, they were like they're trying to be, you know, all the heavy guitars and heavy music, but then they had like kind of like the whiny voice. Yes. I was like, it doesn't mix, dude. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, no. You know, it, I get you know, it. It's I just get it. so that's the only thing that like puts me off with Ghost is like the guy's voice, but. You he know. was in a band before that where it was like, rah, 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 rah. Oh, was he? Oh, my oh, yeah. God. I hate that kind of music. Right. <laughs> and I, it's, it, there's definitely, for me, it's there, there's definitely a, you can either, you can be too much this side and too much, yeah. there's definitely yeah. got to be a, yeah. I still need to be able to hear legibly at least yeah. half the words you're saying. You know what I mean? <laughs> See, they, for their opener, they have some Viking band, and they're like, okay. rah, right, rah, right. Rah, rah, rah. I, yeah. oh, man. Yeah. And it's probably going to be an hour. Right. And I was like, we need like double your plugs for me. Yeah. I mean, I, I, it's music. I, I appreciate it to a certain extent, but that's, in, right. the, in my opinion, I just can't do that. Right. <laughs> like you, I want to be able to understand what the hell you're saying, right? And not just well, sound I, like you're puking in the microphone. <laughs> same thing with like the. It sounds um, like dry heaves to me. It really does. Right. Same thing with like when I was younger, I used to go to like K Rockathons a couple times. Yeah. And it's just like, like I was, you know. The musician me i was like i want to watch and see what they do and you know yeah. like their whole performance and this and that i don't want to have to worry about three mosh pits breaking out and then having to you know worry about guys flying over my head and stuff like that like <laughs> you know what i mean it's like <laughs> people do like my cousin and stuff are like oh come up there i was like no because no. i don't want to i don't want to <laughs> i want to watch you know what i mean i either want to be far enough away where i can watch and enjoy it or i'd rather be up on the stage with them like there i don't want to be down in that yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? there's no happy medium yeah, right yeah <laughs> See, when I go out to a place, you know, I actually have, like, a stage fright. Some bands will say, hey, you want to introduce us? I'm like, no, I'm good, man. I'm just here. Yeah. And I kind of stay off in the back by myself, which makes zero sense, because look what I that do. Was, <laughs> that was me for the longest time, though. I, I wouldn't play, I, I mean, I didn't, part of the reason, I would play in my room, like, guitar in my room all the time. Yeah. Like, but it, it wasn't until, I mean... Probably what is what is it twenty two thousand twenty three so we're yeah. probably maybe only seven years like since I really like actually got out and started you know yeah playing with a band or like first time tried so it, around twenty five you know, twenty six area yeah. you were out there yeah, yeah, yeah. right yeah. but you know like kind of a yeah compared to you know other kids I know you know what I mean like yeah Spencer Morgan I went to high school with him when I last left really yeah okay and we graduated high school together but mm -hmm. he was he was in bands like. When I was in high school, you know, I, I mean, can't get him. Around. I tried getting so, him. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's a busy guy. Busy. Yeah, he's, 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 yeah. So. I got. I don't know if you ever heard of Just Joe, uh, Joe Altier. Mm -hmm. He's coming tomorrow. He, he's like a god around the area, and he's a big, big name. And Uncle Jimmy got me him. I don't know if you're familiar with who Uncle Jimmy is. All right, <laughs> but no. anyway, you know, I, I have contacts. Hey, man, I can't get this one. Can you get this one for me? And they're like, hold on. I and mean, then two minutes they get him. I was like, right. how the hell did you do yeah. that? <laughs> well, I've known him since he's been this big. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to play, like, when it, even when I play drums, like, my father could be outside, yeah. right, listening to everything I do, and yep. I want to know. Yeah. But as soon as the door opened up and he stepped foot and it, like, immediately stopped playing. Yeah. Like, you can, <laughs> he'd be like, he'd say, you can, you know, continue, keep going. I'm like, no, that's all right. I'll just wait till you leave. You like, think he's like, going <laughs> to judge you? Or yeah, you're right. Exactly. Because yeah, okay. yeah, okay. that's, that's, yeah, that was the biggest, that, that was the biggest, like, the whole probably the biggest part of the stage phrase because the typical person that goes you know yeah. it'd be like 
for you, or depending on how many drinks they had that night. <laughs> like, oh, that sounds great. And it's like, dude, that sounds like shit. Like, it, you know what I mean? That's when you name the band so, close enough. Yeah. So it's like, I <laughs> was, I was just like, all right, there's gonna be the one guy out there that actually does play this song or this instrument, and you know, yeah. And I don't want to suck. Yeah. For that guy, so <laughs> you know. Now, are you in a band right now? I really don't know. Yeah, Whiskey Creek. Whiskey Creek. Yeah. Oh, you're in Whiskey Creek. Yeah. Okay. Yep. What's up, Chad? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Honestly, God, I didn't know. <laughs> Chad's a good buddy of mine. Yeah. Did you? Did he know you were coming? Uh. Apparently not. Thought so. But <laughs> maybe he didn't. Say no, anything. I mean, I mentioned maybe I before when we first talked, I mentioned I mentioned it to them. Okay. When we uh, when we. I spent so up. long since I've I know. I was gonna say right months, <laughs> right. So he knew he knew back then, but I don't know if he. Yeah. Knew you know. Damn. <laughs> you are royalty. <laughs> well, I mean. I got a Whiskey Creek hat and a shirt, thanks to Chad. He brought them both. Oh, yeah? So nice. that's cool. Yeah. I didn't know her. I would have wore the hat. <laughs> <laughs> you want to play a song for me? Sure. All right. Get set up, man. This is the awkward part of it. Yeah. It happens to everybody. <laughs> I, don't, I don't usually sing, so. Yeah. yeah that's all right. We'll give it one shot and we'll right. talk again and bring it. <laughs> this old highway's getting longer. See if there ain't no way to side. would be best, but I just can't afford to rest. I got a ride in Denver tomorrow night. I called the house with no one answer. For the last two weeks, no one's been home. Yeah, she's through with me. Tell the truth, I just can't see. What's kept the woman holding on this line? And the white line's getting longer And the saddle's getting cold But I'm much too young to feel this damn boy All my cards are on the table With no weights left in the hole And I'm much too young to feel this damn boy Competition's getting younger Tougher drunks You know I can't recall A worn out tape of Chris and Lou Lonely women and bad boots Seem to be the only friends I've left it all And the white line's getting longer And the saddle's getting full I'm much too young to feel this damn old All my cards are on the table With no waste left in the hole And I'm much too young to feel this damn old Lord, I'm much too young to feel this damn old Oh, that's right. <laughs> Good job, man. Thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs> Chad's clapping, I hear him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it all came back to me now. <laughs> yeah. You got to figure what's it been seven, eight months since I booked you. So yeah. yeah. That all that right out of my bald head. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's why, yeah. So I said, I got, I got big shoes to fill, and I said, not really, because <laughs> Chad's not that big. Chad rode here on his brand new Harley with his wife. Yep. They were on an ice cream tour. Yeah. I'm gonna join him on one of them yep. someday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, ice cream tours. Yeah. Perfect. Chad, I've got to talk to Chad just for a second. Get a get your phone out and record these ice cream tours. 
be a hit show. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you've seen Chad's Harley. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. Yeah. I think I was one of the first places he went on the brand new one. Was here. Was he? Was that I, the, I think I, it was recently new. The black one. Yeah. 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 I think it had saddlebags on it. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. That's the black. Yeah. That's yeah. The, I don't know what he calls it. It's probably got a name. Yeah. I don't. I don't know either. But. Do you guys hang out or just to do like rehearsals and shows? No, we, we hang out. We used to work together, so yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the, you know, here and there, you yeah. know. Yeah. But. Good dude. Yeah. Love that guy. <laughs> Don't tell him I said. He's, yeah. <laughs> he's usually if he's got time off. Obviously, I mean, especially now he's you yeah. know on the bike and yeah. if I got time off, then I'm probably golfing. So. Yeah. Golfing, huh? Yeah. My handicap is a 72. In three holes. <laughs> I say, I'm, I'm not starting out. I was, this is my first year doing a league on Tuesday nights, and oh, you got to be a halfway decent then. Nah, uh, I'm not though. I'm like like 30 handicap. Oh. So, um, but the problem is, I can crush the ball. So it looks like you probably could. Yeah. So the issue is like, and I, and, I, and I give my golf partner. He's like, your swings is really not that bad. I just have like my problem is is I, as soon as I get back to the top, I want to. Like, you know, and <laughs> golf is not that. Like everything I've done, football, lifting weights, powerlifting, all that. Is like you want something to move, you move it. Yep. And then this sport's just like, no, you just got to be nice and easy. And I can't get that through my head. <laughs> so guys, you know, they kind of like grumble and they like, they don't believe me. Like you're a 30 handicap, you know, I, I just drove a ball 315 yards. Like you ain't yeah. no handy 30 handicap. I'm like, <laughs> just watch, you, you'll see. Because the next shot I'm going to shank in the woods from, you know, 80 yards away from the green. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm a 30 handicap. I lift things up, I put things down. Exactly. I'm way better at that. You know? I wouldn't mess with you. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I have that same shirt. Yeah. I wish I would have known we would have coordinated. We coordinated. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with him. I'm going to talk all kinds of shit and he's going to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You weren't a bully, were you? You were all you. No. No, oh, okay. No. All right. No, I was like shy and quiet, yeah, and you I know, can see that. Yeah, played, played football, but I definitely was not a jock. That's yeah, you know. I, I got just, you. So, what's uh what's the most you ever benched? Uh, I talk about everything on my show, not just yeah. Me. No, that's fine. <laughs> that's it's been it's been years. I yeah. can't. I probably wasn't. Might have been. I'm, my bench was not my strong. Yeah. It was my weakest. My but in competition, probably three. 50 to 360 ish there you go i think i did 375 like touch and go but yeah. they make you pause you know yeah. in the competition so it's just but that's where you, you gotta know. actually lift it up and hold it right or no bench no. is just ben bench okay. is just on like the, that yeah. way okay. that that's the deadlift that you pick it up and hold you it. could tell i don't work out <laughs> <laughs> oh i lift up my food off my plate i'm pretty yeah. good at that right you know, i do good at that yeah, me too. I, I'm, I'm good at that <laughs> see my only form of cardio is running to the fridge so <laughs> He's got jokes too. <laughs> Chad didn't have jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you got a motorcycle? Mm -mm. No, not no. for you, huh? Well, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. I've kind of my father's got my father's had. He's always had a Harley since yeah. as long as I can remember. But that's awesome. Part of me wants to get one, and then you know, another part of me doesn't want to want to get one. So <laughs> she didn't see anything. Yeah, don't worry yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah. We're good, man. But, Keep it on the DL. Right. <laughs> I don't know. My mom used to ride too when she was like, I used to go, she used to take me when I was a little kid all the time. She like used to have a Yamaha 650 special. There you go. And she'd cruise all over, like, you know, I put on the helmet and we'd just ride along with her and cruise all over. But that was, you know, back before all this stuff. So right. nowadays it's totally. Don't get me started. Yeah, <laughs> totally different nowadays. So it's just. You're acting like an older man now. You're only 33. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> that last concert we went to, we were seeing all the 20 year olds, like all the young kids. Like I, that's when I, like one of the first aha moments I had. And I'm like, look at all these damn kids. Like, yeah. you know, just acting like fools. And one kid couldn't even stand up because he was so trash. I was like, you're not even gonna like remember, remember anything of the concert. Yeah, I'm like, that's what you I know. don't like. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, but. I'm not going to sit here and hate on people. I won't have a show. <laughs> but I get it. Right, And right. it's disrespectful and you're acting like a fool, but I guess it's called having a good time. Right. So they're young. Well, I mean, you know, 10 years ago, that was probably me. So I guess yeah. I really can't. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm just, you know, at the age now where I'm starting to, 
become one of those guys in the hall. I'm Welcome like, to the, the old man day. club, yeah, brother. The old man club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in it for many years. Yeah. Forty six, gonna be forty seven in a few months. Jesus, where'd the time go? Mm. And I've never had a drink of alcohol, so uh, I've just acted stupid without alcohol. <laughs> so that says a lot for me. Mm. <laughs> uh, anything you got to promote? Upcoming gigs? Uh, so this is also my not my department. Okay. She always so the wife always. Don't worry about it. Yeah, the <laughs> They're gonna be the, somewhere. The wife always gets on me because she's like, "Where are you playing this weekend?" I'm like, "I don't know. <laughs> I know I'm playing. Like I'll figure it out. We know the day of. Like you know, she's Chad. <laughs> yeah. That's that's on face. Everything's on Facebook, and it's I'll on, find we got it. A, we got an app. I mean, I know. So this week, I mean, I know this week or uh, this Friday, we're playing at Rustic Ties in Dodgeville. Okay. Uh, Violet Festival, I think, starts this weekend. Or, so we're playing that Friday. Saturday will be at the ne- uh, is it the Nexus Center? The Nexus Center at okay. uh, Tattoo and Bike, like right up Chad's alley. It's on the Expo, <laughs> Tattoo Expo. That's bike why you're Expo. there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, and then next week will be Frog Fest, June seventeenth. is Frog Fest. Yep. We'll be playing there. Broken Rule and all them guys. Yep. Yep. And then I'm friends with all of them. After that, then then it starts getting. I know we'll be we'll be at the Tin Rooster. I think the end of the month. You guys are big Tin Rooster so. people. I've seen that on Facebook a lot. Yeah, we got uh, about once a month. Yeah, that's there, good to so. get in over there, man. That yeah. that tells me that you are a band. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you weren't, Turning Stone wouldn't have you. Right. I mean, Tim Moyer's there all the time. Yep. Gridley Page. Yep. I know you know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> who doesn't? I, mean, I think if if Ollie is still the drummer, I played with him for a little bit with Jason Wicks or whatever you yeah. you know it yeah. was Jason uh, Wicks I just saw him at Papa Top a couple times okay. he just bought a chilling hat off me yeah <laughs> nice. so that's cool yep uh he's phenomenal yeah great country singer holy yeah. shit definitely George Strait is his influencer yeah. Kevin Rule booked yeah. him I, yeah. you know who Kevin Rule is yep, yep. drummer from Broken Rule mm-hmm. so I told you anyway yeah, yeah. <laughs> <But> <laughs> so anyway he goes Jason Wicks is coming. I said, who the hell is Jason Wicks? He goes, watch. I go, what is he? He's like, he's country. Obviously, from Kevin Rule, it's got to be country. Right. <laughs> and I sat there at Papa Top, and I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> he's phenomenal. Yeah. So I'm a big fan of his. I asked him to do my show right after. He's like, yeah, no problem. Right. Booked yeah. him right there. So simple yeah. as that, man. So I, know, <laughs> so I know his guitar player. Um because I've like you know, so I filled in with gigs. Like my father would ask me if you know if their guitar player can't make a gigs or whatever, and we're off or you know it's on the opposite day that we're playing. Yeah. So I filled in uh, gigs for them, um, but there was times we go out and see him, and then you know little Mike would be there. And he's like, hey. I'm like no. Mm. He's like no no. <laughs> As I'm mm. up there. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I don't know, just come play or whatever. And then he's like, so little, I know he's, you know, he's got to go pee. Oh, so that's why he wants me to go oh, up okay. there, play a couple songs. It's like, dude, your guitar's like, you know, you got a, a, a strap for a four year old kid, yeah. like, yeah. you know, because he's this tall. Like, you got to take like, care of your business yeah, before you start. Right. <laughs> so, and it's always funny, like, I put his guitar and I always got to, like, just put over just one shoulder because it's, I don't know, obviously, yeah. not big enough to go around, you know, me. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, really, really, yeah. I mean, you try playing it, yeah. You play a guitar like that, you know, when it's you're used to down by your waist, it's like totally, you know, totally different. I know, I got you. <laughs> Even as uh, the guy who don't play guitar, I get what you're saying. Yeah. It's not fitted for you. Right. And that guy should have went to the bathroom beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> Ty James from Trigger Finger wouldn't tolerate that. <laughs> <laughs> but, All right, man, it was uh, nice getting to know you. Yeah. This was cool. It was, yeah. Do you want to do another one, or are you all set? Another yeah, song? you. I mean, if you, you know. Let's have it do right. I asked you to do two. We'll you do did, two. You did ask me to do two. <laughs> we'll wrap you up and send you on your way, man. Do you listen to a lot of country? or? I love country. Yeah, okay. I was raised on it. Okay. It's more classic rock nowadays, but I'm a country guy at heart. Joe Nichols. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, okay. So, what, right. what, what one are you going to do? Broken Hearts,ville uh-huh. so. <laughs> Not one of my favorite. I can't no. remember what my favorite one is. Dude, he's got a lot of good ones. 
Yeah, I think he, he's like very underrated. Yeah, you know, for, absolutely is. Like wants to, you know, like, like why isn't he like a Tim McGraw for God's sakes? <laughs> I think he had like a he kind of had a year or maybe a couple years with. Uh, I mean, obviously I don't know him, and but I think there was a couple years where he had like a alcohol spell maybe, uh -huh. which kind of that'll do it. You know, some guys kind of fall, just fall on limelight a little bit, and then, you know. Yep. But then the, net, then the Luke Bryans got big, and that was like the new, you know. You a fan liberal. of Luke Bryan? Country guys tend not to like him. I don't know what it is. Our, our, they hate Tim McGraw, too. And I, I was like, I like Tim McGraw. They're like, mm. <laughs> My thing is, you give me, you give me Tim McGraw now, like today's Tim McGraw? Yeah. No. But yeah. Back in the That's day, Tim McGraw, absolutely. That's what I heard. Same with Kenny Chesney. Today's Kenny Chesney? No, no one. But back then, yes. I agree you know? with that. So I agree with that. It's it's you know a lot of a lot of something about he went to like a almost like a hip hop country type deal or something. He lost his. It wasn't his country. He went to more pop, I guess. Right. Which, pop country. Right. Which, uh, like Justin Moore was the same. Like when Justin Moore yeah. first came out, I mean, like his first two three albums were like killer. Yeah. Yeah. And then the fourth one came out and it was all the 808 drums and all yeah. the poppy stuff, right? Because, yeah. you know, yeah. everybody's pushing, you know, obviously it's yeah. probably the record companies pushing them to do that, not him so much, yeah. but it's just, you know, like, right. it doesn't it doesn't work, you yeah. know? <laughs> like, if, you're, if you are before. a certain way, you know, just yeah. stick with who you are type of thing, but, yeah. you know. I've heard that uh, from other country guys. They're like, Tim McGraw back then, yes. Tim McGraw now, mm-mm. Right. He's not country. They consider him not country. He's more pop. That's what they consider him. Right. And I get it. <laughs> I, get I it. prefer I, the older albums from him myself. Right. I get it. And then, you know, I mean, I see both sides. You know what I mean? It's like, but if it's, if it's good, it's good. Like Green My Grass Grows, I like it. Yeah, I love right. it. Everywhere. Them are the songs I like right. out of him. Right. So, and um, he sings all them in his concert anyway. Right. Yeah. So, so that's, uh, I think. In like my opinion, like, the, the, the writing isn't there. Yep. So the music could be one thing, because music is like, I mean, Guilty Pleasure is Cruise. I mean, you know, Florida Georgia Line, but, yeah. I mean, it, it is a catchy song. Yeah, And then there's is. other songs that they've done that have been catchy, but yeah. for the most part, like, you know, you don't have, uh, like, Kenny Chesney's, was it, The Good Stuff? Yep. Or whatever, like, you don't have yeah. songs like, the, you know, yeah. that, or, like, There Goes My Life. Yep. Like, you don't wow. have, like, <laughs> yeah, those songs. You're you don't, the feels, man. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have those songs anymore. I you know, am a they're, they're guy. just... Yes. So. Yep. But. I got you. Yeah. Chillin' got you, brother. Oh, that cowboy hat cover up his home. Forgetton had a tempted charm Before I turned around that girl was gone All I can say is bartender for me something strong Here's to the past they can kiss my glass I hope she's happy with him Drive away over the hill, not against her will, and I got time to kill down in Broken Mars Hill. It was long and pro sitting in the lot. Gone to hell and so have 
goodbye To the past they can kiss my glass I hope she's happy with him To the girl who cracked my world That angel who did me in I think the devil drives a key to girl I watched him drive away Brother, yep. I thank you. That. I'm not paying you. <laughs> the two songs are free. After that, right. after that, all right, comes, all right. Yeah. The wallet comes out. <laughs> I got you. All right. Uh, thank you, man. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for chilling. Yep. It's good to get to know Appreciate you, man. It. Yeah, you too. Tell Chad I said what's up. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> thank you, brother. Yep.